Are we AGI yet? No, but we might be 45% of the way there. That's right, Gemini 3 just dropped and it seems like it was worth the wait. Just look at the benchmark results. It wins on everything and in some cases by massive margins, only losing out to Anthropic on SWE bench by 1%. There's even a deep think mode which performs even better. This is the first model in a while where it feels to me like it's made a jump and not just a small incremental change. I mean, look at this. It knows there's no seahorse emoji. That is basically as close to AGI as you can get. Now, I've been testing this model out in various coding challenges. The first one I did here was to create a 3D Minecraft clone using 3GS and just telling it some of the basic features of Minecraft that we want in the first version. And I wanted to see how well this would do in a single prompt. I did have one other follow-up prompt which said, please continue because this IDE seemingly broke. And if you're wondering what IDE this is, this is Google's new AI IDE, Anti-Gravity. We'll have a video coming soon on that, so make sure you're subscribed. As you can see down here though, I'm using Gemini 3 Pro High, and let's take a look at how this did in one shot. This is the game that Gemini created then, and I would say it is pretty good. As you can see, the movement is a bit weird in that it's super fast and we can sort of jump all over the map here, but the world is generating. It does have that procedural generation. We do have the trees and they look good. We don't seem to have any breaking capabilities and we can select what item we want down here, but then I can't do anything with the item. But overall, for the first prompt, I would say this is pretty good. For comparison, I've done the same thing with Claude Sonnet 4.5, and this is what we got. You can see it does generate the world and it does work, except A, I get a little bit motion sick looking at this. The movement's incredibly slow in this one, even though Gemini's was incredibly quick, but at least in this one, we are able to break blocks. Overall though, I'd say Gemini 3 still won the single prompt test. And it's actually something I'm seeing a lot of over Twitter. Specifically with that Minecraft test that I just did, Gemini 3 seems to be really good at spatial logic and these sort of 3D applications. As you can see here, someone built a 3D Lego editor that looks absolutely awesome. Then we have a power plant walkthrough. Then we also have a Minecraft game that looks a lot better than mine. It's got very nice graphics. And if you scroll Twitter, you'll just see so many examples of people using this to build out applications like that. And Gemini 3 seems to be absolutely nailing it. Another thing I've seen people mention that Gemini 3 is really good at is UI and design. I only discovered Design Arena today, but essentially what you can do is you can come in here and give this a prompt. It will then run a few models and you get to blindly compare them to see which models response you prefer. But if we go over to that leaderboards, this also means that we get an ELO rating for the models. As you can see, Gemini 3 has the best ELO rating by quite a bit, meaning it is preferred most in these comparisons. We can also see some of the prompts that people are giving Design Arena and what it's generating with Gemini 3. You can see some of these UIs look really nice especially this God of Thunder one that we have over here. We have some dashboards which have a nice layout. Just overall, it does seem to be a little bit better at generating a UI that looks a little more normal. But I will say this purple and gradient design that AI loves does tend to creep in a little bit. To test this myself, I asked Gemini 3 for a streaming platform landing page, and I would say it does a pretty good job. We have the main movie that we can watch here with the play and more info button. We've got a nice header, which then does add a black background when we scroll down. We have our movie carousels here, and this does seem to have a small scrolling issue but we could probably prompt that out and all of these images were also generated by Gemini 3 as well when we scroll down you can see we have carousels for the various different categories now I didn't actually tell this to look like Netflix and you can clearly see this has taken Netflix as inspiration but it's done a pretty good job this is a nice Netflix clone running the same prompt with Claude 4.5 you can see we do get a pretty similar UI as they are both just copying Netflix but this one I would say has fallen a little foul to AI's love of gradients and purple from those few results then, and what I've seen online, it seems like this is going to become a daily driver for many people. I know I'll be trying this out for the rest of the week, and its performance is backed by the third-party benchmarks as well. If we take a look at artificial analysis, you can see it's doing great there as well. It's ranked the best for intelligence, closely followed by GPT 5.1, and for coding, it's also at the top, again being followed by GPT 5.1. But the Arc AGI benchmark is where they had an absolute win. You can see here it is miles above the rest, especially when you use the deep think mode. But what's that intelligence going to cost us? Well, the pricing is okay. It is a slight increase from 2.5 Pro. It's going to be $2 for input tokens up to 200,000 tokens, and then $4 for the larger inputs, as it did keep that million token limit, which is absolutely great. And the output is going to be priced at $12 for under 200,000 tokens, and then $18 for above that. So it's sort of in the middle of being cheaper than Claude, but slightly above GPT 5.1. I'd love to see what they might be doing with the Gemini 3 Flash model, as hopefully that has absolutely amazing pricing to performance. If we take a look at the models we have here on intelligence versus price, you can see that Gemini is well placed. It is the smartest of the models, but for a better balance, maybe 5.1 is going to be a better choice or Grok 4 Fast. It's really going to depend on what you need from the model. So there we go. Gemini 3 is finally here and it looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, out of all of the AI companies, 
companies. I think Google stands to be the strongest, which is absolutely crazy if we think back to when Google Bard was released. Everyone was laughing at them and saying they had absolutely lost. So let me know what you think about Gemini 3 in the comments. And I'm also curious what model you use as your daily driver. So let me know while you're down there, subscribe. And as always, see you in the next one.